This video is a part two. If you haven't seen part one, card on screen will link you right to it. If you have seen part one, then I won't waste any more of your time. Let's get right into it. All right, for the deployer, we're gonna need another andesite casing, and then we're gonna need this electron tube and the brass hand. The andesite casing's pretty easy, so why don't we do the brass hand, needing andesite alloy and brass sheets. Well, guess what? Brass sheets are brass ingots. Brass ingots are mixed copper and zinc ingots, and it needs to be heated. Oh, yes. We also need a mechanical mixer and a basin. Whew! Yeah, that's why this is going to be a multi-part thing. So to actually heat the thing, we need to trap a blaze in a blaze burner. And this is the recipe for a blaze burner. So we need more iron sheets and we need some chromatic steel. Hopefully we have that chromatic steel. Uh, yes, we do. Very good, very good. Okay, that's good at least. But we're going to definitely need to capture a blaze. That means we need to go to the nether and ugh, 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 ugh. Also, we need these pressed iron sheets, four of them. And uh, we could actually press the iron on something called a depot. That makes it just a little easier. So that's just an andesite casing and an andesite alloy. Take our casing and an alloy and bam a -lamo, we have a depot. I think I'll press half a stack of iron just for the fun of it. And check this out. Now with the depot, I can place the depot under the mechanical press and toss all of our iron on top of the depot so I don't have to throw it all onto the floor. And uh, fairly slowly, our guy will go and press our iron. Yep. This is going to take a while, but it is completely automatic. We don't have to do anything ourselves. So while this is pressing, we can work on other things like fortuning up our zinc. I hope we get a decent amount of zinc from this because it'll be kind of annoying to have to go zinc mining. But we're about to see 17 zinc. Ooh, wonder if I've picked up any zinc in my travels. Nope, we've got 17 zinc to work with. Oh, wait, 23 zinc. That's better. We can also craft the basin we need and get to work on the mechanical mixer, which needs this whisk, which needs more iron sheets. Let's see, how's our iron doing? All right, all right. It looks like there's a lot less iron on the depot. Uh, 22 sheets, that's a good start. Here is the whisk. Here is the mixer, one of my favorite items. Now we have an empty blaze burner, so we actually have to go and capture one. You know, Create is actually gonna help us with our inventory problems here because we can actually build an entire train and send it into the nether to pick up all of the iron that we produce and send it right back to the overworld. Kind of cool. That being said, train tracks require deep slate slab or any slab, I guess, Laramar, chromatic. They then need a station, which is, I guess, a compass and train casing, which is something called sturdy sheet, which is powdered obsidian. Yeah, okay, so tra trains are expensive and lengthy. And that'll be something we get to later. Oh, perfect. Blaze spawner's right here. So all we have to do is spawn in a blazy boy. And run right up to him. Oh, ah, my alarm's going off. All right, Blaze, don't be shy. You're just going to be enslaved to me forever and ever. Ha! Got him. Whoa. Whoa! Why did it place it down? Hold on. Get out of here. Why did it place the blaze burner... Mmm. This has complicated the situation minorly. Well, I have a pickaxe, so not that bad. Alright, come here, Blaze Burner. Oh, don't go into the lava. Alright, get me out of this place. Uh, fortress, please. Ooh, doesn't use XP to use a warp stone. Kind of cool. Great, check this out. We have a little guy now. <laughs> He's so cute. Uh, I love him. Alrighty, now we can take the mixer, the basin, and the blaze, and a few other things, and create our little thing. Whoop. Why didn't that work? Why isn't that working? Oh, because it would touch. Right. Alright, uh... I can't do that because it'll, it'll be touching two cogs. So it's actually really important that the mixer is hooked up to something like this windmill that's decently fa Oh, right. I forgot how the windmill worked. It actually needs to be sat here. Hmm. But that's ugly. I don't like that. So what I'll 
do is I'll have a little cogwheel. Nope. Why, why would I want a little cogwheel like that? Thank you. I'll just have a little cogwheel go like that. And then we could have the mixer go here. Ah, oh, yay! It's not moving fast enough? Ah, oh, I hate that. All right. All right, all right, all right. I, I see how it's going to be. I see how it's going to be. Then I'll put a big cogwheel there. And then, to get more speed out of it, I'll put a little cogwheel there. There we go. That's double speed. And then, bam! Perfect! Ooh, a little ugly. A little ugly, I have to admit. But it's all right. The basin goes there. Our little blazy boy goes right there. And if we toss our copper and zinc in, you'll see absolutely nothing happens. Because the blaze, we haven't fed him. He's hungry. He needs to be fed, and then he gets nice and big and strong. The mixer comes down. Blah, 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 blah. Boom, bam We have brass! <laughs> Woohoo! I love this animation so much. It looks so cute. Ah! Create is amazing. It's It's got to be one of my favorite mods in Minecraft. There we go. It's all that brass. And right now, I need to smash five of it down. Oh, boy. This is slow. <laughs> Alrighty. And with the five smushed, I should be able to make a brass hand. And now we just need to make the electron tube, which requires polished rose quartz, which requires rose quartz. And guess what we don't have is quartz. That's why we're making this farm. Ah! You know what? Since I don't want to go mining for it, we can actually build a washing thing right here and right now. Yeah, we need, we'll need two encased fans for this. One of the encased fans is actually going to power this thing because they can do that. And the other one is just going to be the actual washer. You and you, you and you. Oh, they have connected textures. How pretty. Very expensive building block, but they would be cute. Oh, right. I have to light this place up. I have, I forget that. It, is it like super duper dark in this thing? Oh, I, I bet it is. I bet it's like super duper dark in this thing. Yep. Whoops, a daisy. There we go. That's better. All right. So to set this up, we're going to have one encased fan facing in towards. No. In. There we go. And. No, what? Just use that rotation lock ability. There we go. Facing in towards the magma. Turn off rotation lock. And if we provide power to it. Power. Huh? What? Is that not. Can't they do this? Well, I thought that. Encased fans could produce rotational speed if they were facing into a hot block, but maybe that's not the case anymore, and I've just wasted a fan, but that's fine. I'll just use the hand crank. What's nice about the fan, actually, is that the speed that it rotates doesn't actually affect how long it processes, only how far away it will process. But uh, I'm pretty sure if we just close it in... Like so, or okay, let's see. I'll, do, I'll use trapdoors here for the aesthetic and then close this area in. This will look pretty ugly for now, but we drop the water down and let's process a half stack of soul sand. If I start spinning the crank, oh, it's spinning in the wrong way. Can I spin it? There we go. If we spin it, no, didn't I? It's spinning the wrong way. Uh, okay, I mean, we can just change where the water is. I know I could probably change the direction I'm spinning at, but there we go. You can see water particles are coming out of the water. It blew the soul sand, or like sucked it in towards itself, and there's washing particles all around the soul sand right now. And after a little bit of twisting and turning, it should turn it into quartz. How much did we get? 20 quartz from half a stack? Oh, this is going to be an amazing farm. How cool is that, though? So now I can make that rose quartz stuff. So, and we're also actually going to need sandpaper, funny enough. How do we not have a single piece of sand? All right, well, guess I'll use the pulverizing pickaxe, right? What? Why, why this crafting grid? I have no idea what the game just thought I wanted to do there. It's literally breaking stuff. All right, so now with the sandpaper, I... I Hold, the, I think, the sandpaper in my offhand, the rose quartz in my main hand. Yeah! And I make polished rose quartz. 
Uh, create is way too fun. Okay, now I can make that diode thing. Diode, is it, what was it called? Electron tube, sorry. Oh, I need a nugget. Okay, electron tube, nope. Electron tube, all right. More chromatic iron blocks. Man, this is expensive. And finally, we have a deployer. Bap. Amazing. I guess for now, I'll just replace... Eh? There we go. What? Eh? I want to... Down. There we are. So for now, I'll just have it above this. That means... If I go and make another chromatic block, because Lord knows we'll need another one, right? And then up here, I could put it on the deep. Eh? Or I toss it onto the depot, and then do I, I give it an andesite alloy? Oh, it does it for us! Awesome. That's very cool. Can I have it back, please? Thank you. All right, so this guy's here, and I think I could actually just pull the rotational force right out of it into this guy. That's nice, at least. So I can have, like, a chain of these kind of machines. I'll need more depots, but, you know, I just made one. Oh, wait, I can make one right here now. Yeah, there we go. So now I have a deployer depot and a press depot. So if I need to deploy something, I can. Which is great, because we're going to need a speed controller, uh, a rotation speed controller, which, in addition to needing brass casing, oh, in addition to needing a pog, Whoa. We need a precision mechanism which requires a three-part deploying process that we have to repeat five times. So, yeah, eh, we need one of these. But that really is all the time I have for this episode. I've been recording for quite a while. We've done an absolute ton. In the next episode, we're going to continue with our mega quartz, gold, cobble, sand, soul sand, gravel, flint, clay factory. Ah, I'm really excited. But we have a huge basis done right here. We'll get that rotation speed controller in absolutely no time. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know down below what other factories and farms you want to see me create with create i'm definitely gonna be making a slime one don't you worry about that slime farms are super fun with create but yeah i'll see you guys in the next one goodbye everybody